the shots that I take About the ankles I break About the hits that I make About to, it's just more to the game It's more to the game It's just more to the game It's just more to the game First of all, if you're tuning in today, I appreciate you. And I definitely want to say thank you. And if you want to support us even more, go ahead and hit the like button below and subscribe if you haven't already. Today's video is going to be a recounting of events from my first season as a professional basketball player overseas. If you didn't know, I played this past season in a country named Georgia, not Atlanta. It's located in Europe, near Turkey, Russia, and some other places in Eastern Europe. Anyway, the season's over now, and I want to tell you all the things that I went through as a rookie overseas. First, you got to think about this year was a COVID year, so not just the basketball part was different, but just the whole traveling was different. I arrived in Georgia in October. When I first got to the country, I had to immediately get COVID tested. It took me and other people that I was flying in with directly from the airport to the COVID testing area. And from there, we went to this hotel for quarantine. I'm not gonna lie, it seemed real sketch at first because I had no idea any of this was coming. The team didn't tell me. I hopped off the plane, got tested, and they took me to some random hotel in I don't know where. Um, never been in this country, so I didn't know what to expect. And yeah, I did seven days of quarantine there, which was hell. My time was already messed up because they're like eight or nine hours ahead of the states, depending on what you know time zone you live in. And I was basically like waking up at like three or four in the afternoon and going to sleep at like six or seven in the morning. And it, my time was all messed up and I was there for like seven days. It was really like jail. I came to Georgia to play for a team by the name of BC Vera. They're in the first division in Georgia, which is called Super League. So yeah, me and the other American uh, that came as well, we both got a quarantine and we went to see the team play because they had a game before we had a chance to practice. Um, then after that, we actually started practicing with the team. After a couple of days, you know, me coming out of my injury, I was feeling okay. And then I wasn't feeling so okay. So if you're new to the channel and you don't really understand my journey, um, this is my first year playing overseas because I had an ACL injury the prior year. And my knee did not bother me up until this point, really. It was kind of sore a little bit, but it wasn't anything major. I was able to play on it uh, back home when I was getting ready to go overseas. But then it gave me problems. So that we had our first game and I didn't play because the coach saw me limping in practice and he didn't think I was ready. That in itself was definitely tough because I went through so much to get to this point, but I couldn't even play my first game. But uh, obviously something wasn't right. And I had to go see the doctor and the doctor told me that I was not ready to play and I needed to continue rehabbing for at least another four to six weeks. So I rehab basically another two months. Um, the team brings in some other Americans because we can have up to four foreigners, imports, you know, people that are not Georgia. And the season's really not going the way it's supposed to be going. I'm not playing. We're not winning a lot of games. And then we get to the end of the first round. The season is split up into two rounds. You play everyone once in the first round, you play everyone again in the second round. We get to the end of that almost, like a couple games left, and I'm able to play again. My trainer kind of cleared me, we were rehabbing, and I told him I was feeling good, I was practicing everything, and I felt like I was ready to go. So I get to make my professional debut on the road against a team named Batumi. And I actually didn't really even get to play. I played a minute and 47 seconds. The coach didn't think I was ready, so he really didn't even want to play me, but he did play me for some reason. He shouldn't have played me at all because there's no point in that. It just messes up your average. But anyway, I'm mad. I asked my agent what's going on. He tried to contact the team, and it was like, they don't know. The coach is going to play you more next game. And then just my luck, I do get the chance to play the next game, and I stink it up. Yep, I play awful. I'm like over six, like two or three rebounds. Even got my dunk blocked. I scored no points. Like, didn't do anything. It looked pretty bad. It's only one more game left in the first round, and there's this like two week break until the second round of the season starts. So, I don't play the next game because they don't think I'm ready to play right now. And then again, I continue to rehab and work on myself, my game more so than anything else. 
and we get to the two week break. After the first round is over in Georgia, a lot of teams usually make changes. They either bring in more players, change coaches, you know, do whatever they gotta do because after that it's like, it's go time because you only have another half of the season left and you're trying to win a championship. So you need to make sure you got all your ducks in a row. So my team decides to make a coaching change. I was not a fan of the coach. The way we practiced was not gonna help me get back to where I needed to go. The practices weren't intense enough and we didn't do really any skill development and I needed that coming off my injury. I needed to get back in the flow, get some reps and we didn't get any of that. So they switched coaches and they bring in a younger guy, a guy that actually played in America in college some and he played on some good teams overseas and everything. So he understands how the game is played today more so than the other guy did. The other guy was older. He had a lot of success in Georgia, but I felt like his philosophies and his ways of going about things just were outdated. And I, and I definitely love the, the new coach because he got me ready to play. So in the second round, there's also these tournaments. They have the Georgian Cup, which is a tournament basically between the first division teams in Georgia and the second division teams that goes throughout the rest of the year. They also have this like Memorial Classic tournament and it really doesn't really count for anything besides bragging rights. So I don't think it was a trophy or anything. So we play in that, uh, that bragging rights tournament or whatever. And my first game is not that good either. I only have like four points and a couple of rebounds. Didn't really shoot the ball well. And I'm definitely just frustrated and my confidence is sort of shot because I've done so much and I just don't know if I'll be able to get back to where I'm supposed to get back to. And then I just talked to my agent and said, I'm just going to go and leave it all out there. You never know when you're ever going to get another chance to play overseas. So we play our next game in that tournament against the number one team in Georgia in the first division. And I have a great game. I have like 16 and like five or six. I played some good defense, got some steals, maybe a block, a bunch of dunks. Like I just had a good game. It was great. Like I let out a lot of emotion after the game. I was crying. I just had to take a moment to myself because the journey was so long, like a year and a half worth of surgery, rehab, working out to rehabbing again, to failing and to finally succeeding and playing well again. So, yeah, um, we go on from there uh, and take the next day off as a team, I think. And I'm feeling good about myself. My agent's feeling good about the game. They make a highlight tape. We're just all feeling good. However, my team uh, apparently wasn't feeling so good. Apparently, the new coach had already made the decision to move on from me when he came in. And he decided to bring in one of his old players to take my spot. And they came to my house with my apartment and broke the news to me. And I was definitely uh, sad and I didn't know what was next, but when I first uh, had to start bad rehabbing with the team in Georgia, the GM told me that he could help me find a team in the second division if I don't have any other better places to go, you know? And he did the same thing when they actually moved on to me with the new coach. And they uh, found me a team in the second division to go to, and I had another opportunity to play basketball. And I was definitely grateful for that. So now I'm on my new team in the second division in Georgia called BC Mega. They were suspected to win the, the championship, so they wanted to make sure that they win the championship by bringing me in. They thought highly of me, and they thought I could help add to what they had going on. I actually ended up playing with one of my old college teammates, and that was definitely a cool experience because that really doesn't happen overseas. We uh, play a game uh, actually against the same team I just played against in the Georgian Cup. Like I said, first division played the second division in the tournament, and I have another good game, another good half, really. Um, I had like 15 and like in a, like five or six in the first half. And then second half, I just, I'm just tired, like severely tired. I really don't do anything. I don't score, get a couple more rebounds, but that's about it. The second half, I was done. At this time, uh, you know, like I said, it's a COVID year and two of my teammates tested positive. So we all had to get a test as well. So after the game, the next day, I think we got a test and my test was come back the next day and me along with five of my teammates test positive for COVID. So as soon as I get back on track and I get back to hooping and playing the way I think I should be playing, my leg feeling good, I get COVID. But you know me, I'm a guy that perseveres and I just keep it pushing. 
we have to quarantine for like seven days. I do that. The symptoms are a little rough, but you know, it's not the worst sickness in the world I've ever had. Obviously, it's definitely a serious disease that shouldn't be taken lighthearted. So yeah, after quarantine, we start practicing and then we get back to playing games. Now we're playing the games within our division. And first game wasn't so good coming off of COVID, but second game I had a double-double. And the season progresses and we go along and we, we do good. We start winning and everything. And uh, towards the end of the first round of the second division season, you know, just like the first uh, the first division, you play everyone once and then you play everyone again. Near the end of the first round, I think the last game of the first round, actually. All right, so we get to play this team last game of the first round. It's a very close game, tie game with like maybe like 13 seconds to go. We get a rebound, a fast break. I come down and get the rebound after the missed layup and I go back up and I get fouled. But when I got fouled, I turned my ankle and it was not a regular turn. Like I really turned my ankle. I make one or two free throws and we end up winning the game, but my ankle is definitely not right. And it's the same leg that I tore my ACL in. So I'm definitely not happy about it. But we see the doctors and everything. And it turns out that I have a basically in their words, an overstretched uh, tendon, I have an overstretched tendon in my ankle. And it could have been a whole lot worse than what it was because I could have torn it. But you know me, always trying to persevere and everything. I come back from the injury after some rest and some games off. We get to the playoffs, number one seed. We got a game against the same team I actually turned my ankle against. We lose the first game of a best of three. But yeah, we regroup and we come back and we win the next two to advance to the championship where we sweep the second seeded team and win the Georgia A-League championship. From injuries, coaching changes, team changes, rehabbing, like, the, the turmoil within the team, like it was a lot going on in my rookie season. But I'm built for it and I'm just hopeful for another year. So that wraps up the story about my rookie season overseas. If you liked it, please leave a like below. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications as well to see when we upload our next video. And just stay tuned for my stories, other people's stories, and everything we got going on and more to the game.